Tonight, the death chamber at San Quentin is closed. Hundreds of California death row inmates getting a reprieve from the governor. Governor Gavin Newsom signed the bombshell executive order today, putting a moratorium on the death penalty. The order spares the lives of all 737 inmates for now. The law does not change as it relates to the death penalty. That can only change with the will of the voters. Yeah, which is interesting because um, I'm trying to figure out why we need to go back to the voters. Is there any indication they changed their mind? I don't, I, don't, I don't think so. Republicans are condemning the move. Assemblyman Tom Lackey points out the last time voters weighed in, they approved a measure intended to speed up executions. Night Beach Chavasquez is at San Quentin tonight with a look at some of the infamous killers whose lives the governor just spared. Joe? Yeah, Veronica, today's developments have served as a pretty sharp reminder of how horrific the crimes are that some of the prisoners behind bars here at San Quentin are convicted of committing. As prison staffers dismantle the execution chamber at San Quentin today, more than 700 prisoners remain on death row, among them some of the most notorious killers in Northern California history. The oldest death row prisoner, 88-year-old David Carpenter, is also one of the most murderous. Known as the Trailside Killer, Carpenter killed at least 10 people, usually after stalking and raping them along hiking trails in Marin and Santa Cruz counties. He was sentenced to death in 1984. Serial killer Charles Ng killed even more. Along with his friend Leonard Lake, the two men tortured and killed as many as 25 people. Investigators found videos of the victims being tortured in a cabin in Calaveras County. Lake killed himself in police custody. Ng was convicted in 1999 and sentenced to death for 11 of the murders. Richard Allen Davis killed 12-year-old Polly Kloss after kidnapping her from Petaluma in 1993. Polly's dad told us last night he's not happy about the governor's decision to suspend executions. I'm insulted as a person. I'm insulted as a crime victim. I guess what we have to do is look at the constitutionality of legislating through conscience. Two charges of... Uh... Murder also on death row, Scott Peterson, who claimed his pregnant wife Lacey was missing back in 2002. Her decomposed remains and her unborn son were found at Point Isabel Regional Shoreline Park in Richmond. Peterson was arrested just as it appeared he was trying to leave the country. And right now, it's still not clear what happens next if there will be more changes here at San Quentin. For now, the folks who are on death row actually are in a specific area that has the title Condemned Row written above it. Condemned, but for now, more likely to die of natural causes behind bars. Reporting live at San Quentin on the Night Beat, I'm Joe Vasquez. All right, Joe, we appreciate it. Thanks.